Welcome to Whiskey Mystery. I'm Phil. I'm Thieber. Today, we will be testing and tasting number 125. We are in the land of big bubbles. Maybe troubles or no troubles. What do we think? Let's go for a little bit of water. Right, quite a bit of water. Oh, throwing the water in. Because it is quite a strong one. There is um, something I can't get a grasp on this one. The fuck, I'm getting absinthe. Absinthe. I've never had absinthe. It's almost a sweet fennel, but sweet syrup. Sweet fennel herbs. I was going to say green syrup, so maybe that's the same type of thing. Is it peated or not? Oh, the glass from yesterday. Is that your glass from yesterday? No. Anyway, the glass from yesterday, it did have a little hint. Oh, timer. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Saved. Thank you, Greg and Patrice. Yeah, no, I'm getting shy. Beat. It's more... It's... It's... non isle type. It doesn't seem like an Isle of Pete, does it? It's a kind of pineapple peat. Mm. <laughs> it's like a sort of a sour pineapple and peat at the same time. Let me... Look at those bubbles still sitting there. Oh, wow. Should we have a little shake? I think it's closer, isn't it, to 56 than it is to 50. Maybe mid-50s. It must be oily with so fat. <laughs> it is fat. It. it is a fat whiskey. <laughs> so it's fat with beautiful legs. That's what you said. <laughs> a little bit of chocolate this time. It's Every time I, I go back. Strawberry syrup. Strawberry. Yeah, I get a bit of strawberry. It's definitely sort of dark berries, but there's some weird kind of green tea or green forest kind of something as well. The colour, the colour looks... I thought maybe it's going to be big because it's got that sweet smell. It looks slightly like it could have a pink tinge, doesn't it? I thought, I almost thought this could be another um, long row. Oh yes, I'm also getting um, a, a foreign perfume. Yeah, it is floral, green, slightly grungy, a bit of strawberry syrup, um, a bit of pineapple peat. <laughs> pineapple peat lives under the sea. No, that's someone else, isn't it? I mean, I think it's good on the nose. It's, it's rich, isn't it? It's fat print. It's rich, powerful. Okay, put the strong one down. We're going to just taste... 50% water first. Hmm. It's tons of power. Still tons of power in that. I should have put more water. I'm getting a bottle of flavour. It's almost a heavy, uh, not alcoholic drink. Non-alcoholic drink. <laughs> I want one of those non-alcoholic drinks. No, I mean, you get a nice flavour of sweetness. Uh, yeah, sweet of, herbs. Well, there is a bitterness in here, which I think is quite pleasant. Yeah, yes, you get a bit of uh, banana pudding. This one makes me feel like, you know, in some whiskies, you get sort of the depth underneath and then sort of highlights on top. This is kind of all the foundation, but not really so much of the top. Let me try again, full strength. <laughs> it's much more like it's um down here more than up here. Does that make sense? It's not very heavy, dark. It's the beginning of the very fine peppers. It's just it's up here. Oh, hello. Yeah, it's kind of a a deep pineapple and herb oil kind of thing going on. Pepper, do you like it? 
It's unusual enough to be like, oh, that's good. I don't know if I like it. Oh, that's good. I don't know if I like it. But the funny is fine. Better nice. Finish stuff. Uh, every beat. Mm. Finish. There is a sort of sour red berry funkiness in the middle. Could it be wine instead of sherry? We got sweet. Okay. It would have to be PX with a lot of green things. Let me go to the picture, see if the picture makes any sense. When I do these paintings, it's normally when we are first nosing and it's before we've written any notes. And so I just keep adding colors and this is a kind of dirty, there is a sort of a dirty, mossy something, watery droplets over the top. That It does have this sort of the pink in this case is more like a strawberry syrup that's been tainted with moss. <laughs> uh, very nice. Finish. I think we might need to give a little ABV clue here. I think it's around 55, 54. It is a five. It is a five. I don't want to go further than that just yet. But, you know, you people with the spreadsheet, here's the link. Um, you can pop up the spreadsheet and have a look. So we know it's in the 50s. I'm not going to spend too long here. Could be somewhere in the mids, somewhere in there. Well, there is a long row in there. There is. But I can. Oh, there's another long row. Oh, it could be. The Freud. Anyway, you go and rummage in there. Um, I think it's back old. If this is another long row, we've had an incredible run of long rows recently, but it is putting me in the mind of it's that sort of dark, maybe wine, maybe it's sherry, but there's some weirdness to it as well. But um, nice for, um, and the proper thing is, it's around 15 years. It's very difficult to get the age. I'm so bad at guessing the age. Because of the nice finish, the opposite, at least 15 years. See, it seems a little bit more fruity on the nose than when you get to the palate. That's so the palate is is quite a contrast, I think. I, I like it. Okay. It is. I'm just getting absent. It's time for better or worse. Oh, no. Do you know the rules of the game? What do you do? You say better or worse. Any more time? <laughs> no, you don't. Better or worse. Better. Better than Springbank Green. That means we're going top shelf. Maybe. It did have some similarities. Yes. Better or worse? I read that both. Okay. So it's pretty close. It's very different to. It's Glen Scotia Victoriana. Does it have any but similarities? If I had to pick, I would go for this more because this is more sweet and that I'm more vanilla. I'm not a vanilla fan. Yeah, I'm not a fan of this, vanilla. Is, this is definitely a brighter flavour. So we're saying it's top shelf. Somewhere. Somewhere That's, up here. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, bro. pretty good one. <laughs> I was going to say. I almost feel like it's top shelf, but it should be on a different cabinet. <laughs> yes, yeah. <laughs> because <laughs> because the second half is something is missing, but that the finish is not too bad. No, it should be on the weird cabinet. It's like top shelf of the weird cabinet. It's got a bit of the Ardmore burnt sticks and tea peat mm, kind of thing underneath but, that. Even the soil, the finish, but oh, really nice. There's the time. Could it be the Jag? 21. Could it be Balekin, a 13 year old? Could it be the other Glen Scotia, the rum cask? I was leaning towards this long row, which is Chardonnay. Deepa had mentioned PX. The only thing we have PX would be the Bunner. And then apart from that, 
there is an Edra Dower, Edra Dower, 59.6%, which is younger. Um, I'm going to go long run. Um, I think I'll go for this. Time for the reveal. We don't even know the full ABV yet. Here we go. It is 53%. Huh, huh. 53. It is only a 12 year old, but it Ooh. cost $200. But I need to what 12 year cost $200? It is a Campbelltown. Get out here. I thought of get out here. Oh, hang on. It's a spring bank. Oh, I'm stuck. I'm very, 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 very stuck. Oh. I get... Okay, okay. We weren't far off. Can you find it? It is the Springbank 12 Burgundy cask. And that's where... So we were pretty good with the whiny notes and funkiness. Um, and a bit of and, and, and absent is almost that you got of dust. We only have this much. Oh no! <laughs> Do you feel sad? I feel very, very <laughs> sad. <laughs> it, it is good, it's worth, but not to utter dollar. No, it's well, worth to utter dollar. Uh, that's probably a price of what it would be if you had to buy it today. The price go for that. Having said that, you know, local barley is $200 at 10 years old, so maybe that is where the price is. It is almost worth to utter dollars. Okay, you just keep on that. I am now moving on. Number. One hundred and twenty-six. I think one twenty-six. About to draw with Abby. This is uh, chosen by. Oh no! This is group. Group. <laughs> group choice. Here we go with our sideways, <laughs> sideways camera. Oh, Pretty that's... big bubbles. Doesn't look like a bourbon. I think we're safe from that front. <laughs> Gravity defying pour. Thanks everyone for watching. Pretty. Just. Mm. 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 Oh, I say it's quite hot. No, it's not hot. I, no, I took too much. That's quite sane compared to the burgundy, which is a bit mad, isn't it? Oh, oh yeah. Sunday? Uh, I'm not sure now. <laughs> Sunday to find out what 125 is. Every <laughs> everyone have a good time over the next uh, few days until we see you on Sunday. Uh, deeper. Oh. Did you have to finish with that? 